Caleb, thanks so much. And tonight we continue this conversation, specifically how stroke and depression are linked. Melanie Henderson, the Erie Board President from the American Heart Association, is joining us here in the studio tonight. And uh, Melanie, stroke is a part of the awareness for the American Heart Association. They go hand in hand. Tell us a little bit about uh, the link when it comes to stroke survivors. Sure. Um, stroke survivors are one in three are um, usually suffer from depression. So it's really important that we give them emotional and support medically because um, we may not realize that they may recover from their stroke physically, but sometimes the psychological effects of stroke are still present. Okay, and uh, there are signs um, that people can look out for if they're uh, feeling that they might be experiencing a stroke. So um, it goes by the word fast. And so um, there's four certain things that um, you know, people can, can address if they feel. And it, and it starts with face drooping, right? Correct. Um, the F is for face. You're looking to see if someone is having a facial droop. Um, the A is for arm. They may raise one arm, um, both arms at the same time. One may feel weaker or one may drift down. The speech is speech difficulty. Not only do they have trouble with talking, but sometimes they may say things that don't really make sense when you ask them a question. And then the T is always time to call 911. We encourage everyone to call EMS to get to the um, hospitals. We have local stroke centers in our area because you know, having someone, a loved one, bring you to the hospital can really impact your care in getting um, treatment right away. Melanie, we have about 30 seconds left. I know that you've worked extensively with stroke survivors in our area. There are support groups out there. Um, what do people need to know that they don't have to go this alone? Like John Fetterman that we've been talking about, he now is seeking help. Exactly. Um, it's really important for people to help others who've had stroke rely on them. And we have our stroke support groups that have been, um, some of the local ones in the area have been around since 2014. They have a good core group of people who've been there. We have people come and they, they may say, you know, I've been experiencing this, I've been um, tired, I've been depressed. And our people can really give them some emotional support and say, you're not alone, we've been there and we can help you. All right, Melanie Henderson, we appreciate you being here tonight. The board president of the American Heart Association also creating awareness about strokes as well. Thanks so much. Thank you. Mm -hmm.